Among millions of things Disney was good at, because come on, Disney. If they knew how to do one thing, it was how to make a damn good villain. <laughs> My dear sweet child, that's what I do. That's what I live for, to help poor unfortunate merfolk like yourselves. Poor souls with no one else to turn to. I admit that in the past I've been a nasty. They weren't kidding when they called me, well, a witch. <laughs> what rhymes with witch? But you'll find that nowadays I've mended all my ways, repented, seen the light, and made a switch. True? <laughs> yes. And I fortunately know a little magic. It's a talent that I always have possessed. And my dear lady, please don't laugh. I use it on behalf of the miserable, the lonely, and depressed. Pathetic, poor, unfortunate souls in pain, in need. This one longing to be thinner. This one wants to get the girl. And do I help them? Yes, I do. Those poor, unfortunate souls, so sad, so true. They come flocking to my cauldron, crying spells. Ursula, please, and do I help them? Yes, indeed. And it's happened once or twice. Someone couldn't pay the price. And I'm afraid I've had to break them across the coals. Oh, I've had the odd complaint, but on the whole, I've been a saint to those poor unfortunate souls. Now, here's the deal. I'm going to make you a potion that will turn you into a human for three days. You got that? Three days. Now listen, this is important. Before the sun rises on the third day, you've got to get dear old Princey to fall in love with you. That is, he's got to kiss you. But not just any kiss, the kiss of true love. If he does kiss you when the sun rises on the third day, you'll remain human permanently. Disgusting, if you ask me. But if he doesn't, You'll come, you'll turn back into a mermaid, and you'll belong to me. Life's full of tough choices, isn't it? Oh, and there's just one more thing. We haven't discussed the subject of payment. You can't get something for nothing, you know. I'm not asking for much, just a token, nearly a trifle. You won't even miss it. What I want from you is your voice. That's right, sweet cakes. No more talking, singing, zip. You have your looks, your pretty face. Now don't underestimate the importance of body language. Ha! The men up there don't like a lot of blabber. They think a girl who gossips is a bore. But here on land, it's much preferred for ladies not to say a word. After all, dear, what is idle prattle for? Come on, they're not at all impressed with conversation. True gentlemen avoid it when they can. But they don't swoon and fawn on a lady who's withdrawn. It's she who holds her tongue who gets a man. Come on, you poor unfortunate soul. Go ahead, make a choice. I'm a very busy woman, and I haven't got all day. It won't cost much. Just your voice, you poor unfortunate soul. It's sad, but true. If you want to cross the bridge, my sweet, you've got to pay the toll. Take a go and take a breath, and go ahead and sign the scroll. Lots of jets, and now we got our boys. The boss is on a roll. You poor. Katrina Aguilar! <laughs> Katrina Aguilar!